Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to schedule posts on Instagram from your desktop PC or laptop computer. So, let's open up the web browser and I'm logged into my Facebook page and I'm going to go to videos here videos i'm going to scroll down and go to video library here right here video library i'm going to click on that and it gives me access to the creator studio here so i'm going to click there and then i'll have access to instagram and facebook here separately in this box here you might see a message saying would you like to access your instagram from creator studio and you need to say yes i would and then you'll get this icon up here when we click on that icon we can see all of the content that is located on my Instagram page, right? So if I go to Instagram, we can see all of the content that's on Instagram right now on my Instagram page. So I'm gonna go back to Create a Studio. We're in the Instagram section here, and I'm gonna click Create Post. Now, if you're interested in IGTV, Instagram TV, I've already done a video, so I'll put a link to that in the description. So check the description, and you can find a tutorial showing you how to post directly to Instagram TV. If you do that from the Creator Studio, you can actually upload content, video content to Instagram TV, which is an hour long. If you do it from a mobile device, it can only be 15 minutes. So there's an advantage of using your desktop computer, plus you can schedule the post as well, which is most important. And that's what we're gonna look at today. So let's click on Instagram feed, and this little section will pop up. I'm just gonna drag it to the side and open up this folder. So inside this folder on my desktop, I have a few things in here. I have one, two, three, four pictures and a little notepad file. Let's open that and copy this text because all this text is, is just a bit of information about this logo design I've done for this restaurant, right? And the restaurant is located in London and so am I. So I'm gonna tag it to this location, London. And then I'm gonna select add content. When I select that, it gives me an option from file or from Facebook. So I'm gonna select from file. And here you can see the four pictures, these same four pictures in this folder. We can really close this. And these four pictures, what I've done is put them, let's actually open that folder again. These four pictures, I've labeled them 01, 02, 03, and 04. The reason why I've done that is because on Instagram, I want 01 picture, the main logo, this one, I want that to show first. So it's worth labeling your pictures in a certain order if you want them to display in a specific order. If you're not bothered about that, then you can display them in any order. Remember, this particular post will become a carousel on Instagram. So let's select all four of them and click open. And you'll notice you've got the picture here of the logo and they're displayed in the exact same sequence as what you see here. Now there's an option to publish automatically. So you can publish straight away and that will just go live straight to Instagram. There's also an option here to tick off and publish it to your Facebook page as well. So that's quite interesting that you can do it to Instagram and Facebook and you can schedule it. To schedule it, you click on the drop down arrow here and you click on schedule. And when you click on schedule, you need to select the relevant date. Today is the 20th, but you can schedule up to six months in advance. So you can do one for tomorrow, next week, you can do one from three hours from now or whenever you want, right? But there is a couple of little things to think about. So I'm gonna select the 20th because today is the 20th and automatically this red flag comes up because it says schedule posts need to be shared between 10 minutes and six months from when you create them, right? So we're creating it right now at 7.51. So we must make it 10 minutes after that. So we can make it something like eight, Oh, five, for example, so that's just over 10 minutes. So it needs to be at least 10 minutes or more. Or this could be for tomorrow at eight o'clock or Friday or Saturday or Sunday. It doesn't have to be eight, it can be 12 o'clock or any time. It needs to be at least 10 minutes from the current time right now, right? So 8.05 is more than 10 minutes, right? It's like eight minutes or something, yeah, eight minutes more. So I actually wanna schedule this one. I could click schedule and then it will go into the schedule here. Um, in fact, let's do that anyway. Let's click schedule. And then it says scheduling your post. Your post has been successfully scheduled. And now you can see that in the schedule. But I have to now wait until uh, five minutes. Let's close that. Five minutes past eight. And that post will schedule automatically and get posted to Instagram. And also get posted to my Facebook page, right? So here you can see we've got another sort of eight, uh, probably 13 minutes before that happens, right? less than that 12 minutes now 
So I'm not going to wait for 12 minutes and I'm sure you don't want to wait for 12 minutes. But let's just go over to my Instagram page. Here you can see another one that I scheduled. It's called Buck London Contacted DCP Web Designers. This is like a website one that I've done recently. So if I refresh this, you'll see that post is already showing on Instagram here. You can see the post and you can see the images that I've uploaded. So this new one that we've created just now, this will also show in the same way, right? It's got a little carousel here. So the four pictures get posted as one post on Instagram and you've got the four pictures in this nice little slider and then you can go and showcase your work. So if you're doing loads of different photography, whatever you're doing in your business, or even on your personal page, at least you can able to schedule them to Instagram. This was a problem before, right? Um, before you had to go and purchase some app and then or purchase some service and that service would then send the content to your phone and then the phone you had to schedule it from there and it was just a nightmare right it was just long-winded proper long-winded but now you can do that all nice and easily from Instagram here in the Instagram creator studio so you can do the same thing for Instagram TV as well so if you're interested in Instagram TV, you can check the link in the YouTube description and I've done a tutorial covering that. And that was quite an in-depth tutorial because we spoke about looking at uh, creating thumbnails and creating them at the right size. So if you don't create them correctly inside your post here, because Instagram TV gets posted in your schedule here. Well, it's kind of optional to do that, but I think it's a good thing to do that to show them in your main post, but also on Instagram TV here. The advantage of doing it from the creator studio for Instagram TV is that these videos can be an hour long on your phone. It can only be 15 minutes. So I'll put a separate link to that particular tutorial in the description. So check the description for that tutorial. Today we're focusing on how to do scheduled posts. Uh, let's see, where are we? Carousel scheduled posts on Instagram. So whether it's a video or whether it's a photo, or a carousel or Instagram TV, you can follow that same logic. It's all about that button that you select at the end, whether you want it to be a scheduled post, right? Scheduled, or you want it to go live straight away. So I could make this live. Let's not wait for it to schedule. Let's click save and publish. Let's just publish it now rather than waiting until for another 10 minutes. And let's just let that publish. Let's see what happens. That's it. It says it's, uh, let's go to here, published. Let's go to Instagram and refresh. And now you can see it, Bagoyama, click on it, here's the, here's the image, and here's the other graphics that go inside of it, right? It's probably better to do a bit of editing in your graphic editor to make all of the images exactly the same size. That will probably be wiser, then you won't get that sort of jumping effect there um, on, your, on your post, but it's not that important, right? So if we click here, and then we go to my Facebook page, we should also see this on Facebook as well. So let's check that. We'll scroll down and we should see this here as well uh, or maybe i didn't schedule it for facebook maybe i didn't schedule it for facebook i think i only did it for instagram but you get the idea i don't think i scheduled it for facebook that's why it's not showing here but you can see the one that i did schedule for facebook let's just have a quick look at it uh, where's it gone this one here this one for buck london and you can see that it was already scheduled here as well for buck london as well so both of them got posted at the same time to Instagram and my Facebook page, right? So that's how you go about scheduling posts to your Instagram page and also sharing that same schedule or that same post to your Facebook page. So I hope you find that interesting. Go and experiment with this tool. I think it will help you in your business if you wanna post on a regular basis and you wanna create a schedule and you wanna to post to, to, these, to your Facebook and your Instagram at the same time. And this is a really good way to do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.